Hi everybody, Space Junkie here. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to do a video today on my loadout for the Argo Mole. So before I actually call the mole and just obviously do a little tour around it and that sort of thing, I'm just going to talk you through the loadout that I've selected. Now, I do know there's a build out there for obviously when you're mining a rock for it all to be green and that sort of stuff. That's not a bit of me, guys. So this is a, a build that I've actually put together myself. It's all about obviously having a bit of power and that sort of stuff. So one of the th first things I think you should change personally is, I haven't got around to doing it yet, but is the quantum drive. The Hurricane, it's very, very slow. So basically I will change that to an XL1, but both of mine are in use at the minute. I need to purchase another one. Let's get to the important end, the mining lasers. So turret one, slot one, is the actual front turret just here. Just so you know. That's the one underneath the actual pilot seat. And what on here? What I've got on here is is the Riga C3. Just down here. Let me just find that so I can talk you through that. So the Riga C3. It's a passive module. Takes the mining laser to 125%. Optimal charge window goes down by 1%. So as I say, this is all about power here. Uh, and obviously I forgot, didn't mention it, but I've got the Helix 2 mining laser on here. And on that as well, I've got two surge modules. So you can have up to three slots there. All right, just on there. So the slot number two for the laser is a Hofsted S2 mining laser. This is the turret that's on the left hand side. I have a surge module on there, again with a focus three. And then on the right hand side turret slot number three we've got another Hofsted with a two focus threes so we were out last night we've come across some big rocks I think the biggest one we broke so far was a 51 but there's absolutely no problem at all uh, it's it's really it's a really really powerful setup now what I liked about it is with obviously just the turret underneath the actual pilot seat when I'm going to be solo mining I know I can jump down here break the rocks nice and easy when it comes to secondary breaks I can obviously go in either of the side pods and obviously know I'm gonna have a nice charge window to be able to break those with obviously again decent and powerful lasers but I know I'm just not gonna have the tiny window that the helix always gives you when it comes to secondary breaks but that is my actual loadout of the actual mole I'm just gonna call the ship I'm gonna have a little wander around it Number four, as always. Lucky number four. I'll take us down, do a little bit of a ship tour. I say the Argo Mole is very, very new to me. And saving like mad to try, obviously, uh, to try and get one. And here it is, in its beauty. I just love the design of this ship. It's absolutely brilliant. I don't know what it is about it. It really is cool. So again, for you guys, obviously, they're not familiar with it. It has VTOL, which you need to make sure you engage when taking off and landing. Otherwise, this thing drops like an absolute stone. So the one of the lasers is just here, and the actual seat, the operator is just behind it in there. Mole bags, obviously, in the middle. Parrot one, which is underneath the actual pilot seat. And then on this side... Turret 3 and then a pilot seat just at the back there. Here's all our bags. So to get in here, we've got the elevator. Take ourselves up. Just be a brief tour, guys. Not going to spend hours obviously going around it. But for the people that don't know obviously what the mole's all about, be a nice little tour. For the bags, you can hold up to 96 SCU, which is absolutely phenomenal. So if you're doing a solo run, you can think obviously the profit. So obviously you've got some components in the back here. Just off to the left hand side of the elevator. Just through these doors you've got the turret. And this extends out and obviously goes through there. Don't deploy obviously the turrets inside a hangar or on the ground. Because they will scrape on the ground. Little storage compartment there I guess that's obviously for suits. And going across the way. On the right hand side it's an identical copy so seat there and then obviously just extends out 
on the side of the vehicle just there. And another storage compartment. So we get ourselves out the ladder. Through the door on the left. Now, straight into the kitchen area. Table. Food making facilities. You can see one of the guys has obviously been a little bug and left us their empty bottle. Just in the back. Shower facilities. Four beds for crew members. And again, more storage yet. I believe that's for suits and that sort of thing. Just in the back there. Making our way through to the front. Obviously a few uh, generators just here. Down here is the actual um, number one mining laser, which is the one underneath the actual pilot. Let's go through here. We've got our co-pilot seat. We've got Fred obviously um, keeping the company in there, so I'm sure you've all seen these bugs before. He's our little lucky mascot. Here he is. Little beauty, isn't he? We're putting him back. Sorry to disturb you. Apologise. You can go back on your seat. There you go. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm actually going to head out into the verse. I'm going to do some solo mining. And I'm going to do a video of that. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to keep this one nice and brief. I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support I'm getting on these videos. Um, thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Do keep them comments coming in guys. Really enjoy obviously the feedback. Um, again, if anyone's got different ideas regarding the mole setups and that sort of stuff, this isn't what I'm saying is the best, but this is what I actually really like have been liking to use. Um, it's a great setup. I think you should maybe give it a go. Um, and guys, don't forget about the Discord channel. Love to see more of you in there. Completely free for everyone to join. No restrictions on gameplay. No restrictions on obviously the amount of time you need to spend in the game. It's all about meeting new people and enjoying what we love and that Star Citizen and having a bit of fun. All right, guys. So thank you very much. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.